nod at the traditions of Canada. Like, why is that, well, why is that controversial? Uh, don't ask me. And the big thing is, I should have said, if I had to come through, if I had been smart and uh, protected myself, I should have said, everybody should be wearing a poppy. Yeah, well, like, that's I okay. went that's downtown fair. Trump. Yeah, and that's fair, fair enough for the whole thing. It's the two words that, that got it that you people, and as you know, people are very sensitive like that, and that's uh, the guy. But I, I listen, well, they're not, I, I mean, I, if I just clarify, they're not sensitive at all. They're fascists. They're not, they actually have no real feelings. They're faking their outrage. They're trying to crush you because they want to exert yeah. power because it makes them feel big when actually inside they're small. But you just to clarify. So what you just heard there was Don Cherry on Tucker Carlson on Fox News. None of that is surprising. Don Cherry's long been a voice of Canadian conservatism, but since his firing from Hockey Night in Canada, he's been exalted as a victim of the far left, of the anti-free speech left, as the SJW left, whatever you want to call it. And Tucker Carlson, since the rise of Trump, since he sort of shed his respectable elite conservative image, has adopted a kind of populist far-right nature that loves this sort of story. So he has Don Cherry on to try to highlight how even in Canada, the left is destroying, you know, white European heritage through their free speech agenda. And Don Cherry here, odd as it is, comes off as the more reasonable one. Don Cherry is not seen as a reasonable figure. He's not seen as introspective. He's not seen as temperate. He's not seen as somebody who chooses his words carefully or even acknowledges how those words may have come across. That's not Don Cherry. But here, Don seems to suggest that he knows how his words were misconstrued. I don't think his words were misconstrued. I think he meant to say what he said. But Don here is at least acknowledging that by saying you people and that by talking about downtown Toronto as the location of these disloyal you peoples and by mentioning the people who come here and by also mentioning the small cities, by doing some of these things, he implied that new Canadians, the you people, overwhelmingly immigrants and racialized, were disloyal, did not buy the poppies, did not respect the troops, the veterans, and that the small city people, the white people, the native-born Canadians, they did buy the poppies, they did respect the troops, they did honor the sacrifice, and that that was seen by the sensitive PC folks as the reason for his firing. Don Cherry really isn't owning up to his words, nor is he apologizing, but he at least acknowledges how people saw his words as harmful. Tucker Carlson has no room for such nuance. Tucker Carlson says there's no feelings here. There's no emotion here. The far left are fascists. He uses that word. The far left just wanted to destroy Don Cherry. The far left just wanted to use this as a moment to amass more power at the hands of an honest conservative speaking the truth. And if you look at Don Cherry's face, He's sort of taken aback by this. He says, yeah, at the end, but almost apprehensively. And he seems to bristle at Carlson using the word fascist. And rightfully so, because it's woefully misplaced. And in all of this, there needs to be a major correction. Tucker, Don was not fired because he spoke the truth of Canada's heritage. Rather, he was fired because in trying to make a point, he obscured the reality of that heritage, the historical and contemporary reality. Dawn has for a long time been a voice that's championed veterans and first responders. And when he's done it in a universalizing tone, many Canadians have supported him. And it's one of the reasons he's held in high regard. But in moments like this, where he tried to parcel off the glory, parcel off this narrative that only some people honor the sacrifices and acknowledge it. That's when he got into trouble because it divides Canadians at a moment where we should all be united in honoring the sacrifices of veterans past and present. And it's historically inaccurate. It ignores the service done by non-white people. It ignores the fact that Canada served as part of a multiracial and multi-faith coalition of soldiers uh, in the British Empire during World War I, including many people who were deemed unworthy of immigration to Canada before and after that war, even though they and those like them served with honor and bravery and dignity alongside white European Canadians. 
all of that was obscured by Don Cherry, and all of that's been obscured by a lot of his defenders. Don tried to make the honor of veterans, the sacrifice of veterans, a preserve of white people specifically. That's what he did. People will say I'm reading too much into it, but that's exactly what happened, and there's no real doubt about it. Don isn't so much apologizing for what he said, but for how he allowed his words to come through in a way that could be interpreted as they were. Don realizes he should have been more universalist, and Don realizes that by speaking his truth, he actually led to a situation where his position at Hockey Night in Canada was no longer tenable. And we can see how this narrative doesn't fit with Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson wants you to believe that the history of the United States, the history of Canada, belongs to white European peoples only. And as non-white people come to these countries in greater and greater numbers, they, through their mere existence, but also on their insistence that they have human rights and dignity, are destroying the heritage. And so any narrative that can be used to pit the glory of white men gone by the glory of the white men of the past against contemporary realities is one he's going to seize. But in this case, and in the United States' case as well, by trying to make military valor the strict property of white men, you are creating a historical inaccuracy and you're doing so to perpetuate division, hate, and intolerance.